All right, mud lovers, we're at the famous bottle dump again, picking up all sorts of treasures. I got with me cuffs over there, and in the background, somewhere, there's Flo and her daughter Cecilia, and I think Anna's somewhere there as well. They're all over the place, can't keep them still. We're gonna have a fantastic day. Already, we found some good stuff, so stay tuned and see what we find. Let's get some luck in the muck. Mysteries come to life when they sleep. Mysteries, there's no end. Sapphires, again and again. It's amazing. <laughs> We're in heaven. We've got a cod, but... So, this is the first bottle, eyes only. It's broken cod bottle, but look. Hardy and Son Chemist Salisbury Oh, Beatty No, it's not Beatty, it's uh, Hardy Nice one, that'd be a good, good contender for a cut down one They might just bought over one as well for me Cheers Mike What have we got on it? Oh yeah, lovely embossing on this one Monsters Monsters. Monsters. It's got monsters repeated all around it. Pretty cool. Monsters, monsters, monsters. We got it, Mike. Anything good? Ancient objects. That's a little bottle. Yeah, a little chemist bottle. Turn it around again. Let's have a little read of the dispensing chemist. Seventy nine. Abbey Road. You know what Abbey Road's famous for, didn't you, Mike? It's the Beatles, isn't it? It is, yeah. I, I thought it. you might not know that, being a young gentleman. But uh, <laughs> yeah, Abbey Road, really cool bottle. We should call that the Beatles bottle. Beatles bottle. I wonder how far it was away from uh, Abbey Road Studios. Nice find. We'll talk about shooting fish in a barrel. Look, there's stuff that people have been left behind that they obviously don't want to say because this is broken that someone's left this behind and can anybody work that work out what that is that doesn't come off that's all connected well if you've said bird feeder congratulations because that's what it was there would have been a little area there for seeds or water to be poured into and you'd feed your birds with it nice one nice little find but uh again just gonna show you those loads of stuff still sitting on the surface he he downed manchester laptop oh sweet but i might there's a little um bobble there I think that's an amber one. I'll keep that one. Usually I wouldn't keep the bovrels, but nice one, nice little amber bovril. And look, just over there in the distance. Oh, not only is that, look at that. Wherever it is, that looks like oh it's not complete because it's broken up on the edges. Do you think I should give this to one of the girls? I think Anna would like this. Let's see what she says. Look at Mike, happy as Larry. Ooh, he's got a nice poison there. So Mike's just uh, found a little poison bottle, which is very, very nice. Lovely nice green color. colour. Complete, is it complete, Mike? Looks alright. Oh, right. yeah, no nicks out of it. Oh, oh, nice a nick on the... Well, yeah, you can live with that, yeah. blimey. But also, Mudlark he is, has found what he thinks to be a coin. Possibly a coin. Oh, it looks very it. thin, but... There it is, yeah. That's the good man. Look at that. I think we've had a bit of rain today, and it might actually be revealing stuff. What is it? I don't think it's a coin. Not sure. Nothing on it. No, maybe not a coin. Looks like maybe the back plate of a button or something, but... Yeah, interesting to think that we had quite a big downpour this morning. We was a bit concerned about coming here because... Um, we were worried that it might be too muddy. But it's actually, looks like it might be revealing even more. And look, over there... Yeah, more bottles to to have a look at. That's a weird one, isn't it? 
champion still. That's nice. Strange little thing. Yeah. Very like twenties, isn't it? Twenties or thirties. Yeah. Saying that, again, it looks a, it's a little bit of an aqua colour to it, so maybe slightly earlier, maybe turn of the century. Yeah. We've got all this to search. We might be some time, so get comfortable. Nice little stone wearing. Complete. Yeah, I think I'll keep that one. Crowl's wet white, no idea what that is, but obviously someone's used that to mix paint in because the inside of it is all white. It's all white. Are you all white? I'm all white. That is a wet white. Just a simple little uh, Victorian inkwell, but it's got some nice iridescence going on there. Thank you. You got an onion bottle? <laughs> That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Now we could play spot the find, but there's so many things in the frame that it would take a while to find it, but I'll zoom in slowly and see. Look at that! Clay pipe. Nice one. That's really cool, it's got a castle on one side and the same castle on the other. Wow, what do you think of that? <laughs> go be, go be. Johnny Vaughan found in the foreshore. Might be. Is it? It might be in in, in Skilling. I don't know. That seems to be a very popular castle, but that is really cool. That, that's my find of the day. Not the tr trial to beat that. Awesome. <laughs> well, I just found this little item. And that green is actually in the pattern now, sort of a, it's like Merino glass or something, but probably not that exotic. I wonder what that would have been, because that would have been probably all enclosed, maybe there was a, a lip. I don't know if it's an inkwell, but that looks like it's sort of, it looks like it's almost, I don't know, anybody got any ideas on this? I'll ask the, uh, the rest of the guys and see if I can come up with a quick ID, but again I might even give it to the girls or maybe cut it down there and it can become something usable but that's so nice a little knob bit I don't really want to touch it maybe I'll give it to one of the others and uh, although I'm sure we'll have plenty to go around today well it might just give me a, a bottle to decapitate and upcycle it's got some nice embossing on that look at that lovely um, shield I'm trying to recognize the uh, maker it says there J Mills and Sons, I think they're, yeah, they're a London maker, so that's really cool. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be pretty good apart from the neck, which we can cut down and upcycle. So check out the Etsy store, this will be on there at some point in the future. Okay. What you got there, Anna? I don't know, I'm really pleased. I just looked <laughs> down at my feet and there it was. It's a little kitsch cat Aww. with a bow at the back. <laughs> I don't know what that's for, but it's great. I love it. If that was in a charity shop, I'd leave it behind. <laughs> Find it in a pile of dirt, it comes home with me. Exactly. We were just saying, weren't we? If you stand around long enough chatting yeah. and look down, you'll just spot stuff. So the that trick is, is, you don't have to, you don't, don't even have to walk around here. You can just look down like that thing there, like that little glass, like perfume doobery thingy. Oh, uh, even, yeah. even that's really look nice. That's lovely. Yeah. Cut you glass. Could, oh, that's gorgeous. You could cut the top off that, couldn't you? That'd yes. be a really nice little vasey thing. Yeah, cut glass and put, I mean, put a candle in that yeah. and you're laughing. <laughs> exactly, so. put a candle in that and you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> little tiny teacup. Yeah, look. Oh, that's going to be one for cease, isn't it? Oh, that's so sweet. So I just found this one's quite interesting. Huh? Dr. Bear's Asthma Cure, London, England. So this is a quack cure. And they got all the doctors on board to sell medicines and cures based on their oh God, achievements. <laughs> oh, that might oh, be a pipe tamper. Oh, that's not. It's a Look at that. That's brilliant. Look at that upturned I think chair. You've got, uh, I think you've got a customer here who might... Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't you, know if you want. 
can have it. <laughs> oh, thank you. Oh, I'll take that. Thank you. And I'll give my little cup to Ceci when I see her. I love that. That's got to come out of a plant pot upside down. What do you think? Absolutely. Just stick it in the ground like that. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at that. Perfect. <laughs> I love it. Oh, that's great. Oh, this is so exciting. It's good to be back. Oh, thank you. Great to be back. What have you found? Um, Mouth of that. Oh, yeah. We found one of those the other oh, day, did didn't you? we? you? Didn't know what it was. No, that one's written on. Is that ink? Yeah, I like the writing on it though. Have a look. Fields. Fields ink. Fields ink and cum. <laughs> I know, I didn't want to say it out loud. Goodness me, Anna. <laughs> I know. I was, I suddenly thought, no. All these x rayed vines you've oh, been having. I know. And here's the rest of the mud crew. Mud crew, bottle crew. You all right? How are you doing? Got a camera in your face. I thought you were around a bottle to get. Did you? <laughs> Just a, just a random. Just a random. This is Monica. 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 So look at all this. This is a load of bottles that have been left behind. Now I'm going to pick up a few of these jars that you see there. Look, those sorts of marmalade jars. And I'm going to decoupage them with original paper from 1925 that we found on a previous um, hunt over here. It's really cool. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pick up a few of them and. Uh, there's another one there. They're beautiful in their own right, but um, I think they could be made even cooler. No. Yeah, that's obviously come out of a fire. Yeah, I do it. Little inky. There's, there's one, a little, I just spotted a little aqua, because I do love the aqua glass, personally. So I'm going to stomp all over this, probably kill myself getting down here, just to see what that bottle is down here. This is the one I saw. I think it's a plain one though. Yeah, it's plain unfortunately. This is quite a nice one, look. Paul and Co. That could be a poison bottle there, look. Let's have a look. Is it complete? Is it a poison? Green and plain. No, oh, never mind. Still, nice little bottle though. Now, look at that guy. I wonder what he used to be part of. I think Anna would like that. It's creepy enough for her. When I saw it, I just thought of Anna. Face. <laughs> look at that, it's brilliant, I love it. I'm going to bury it in a pot again, so it's like looking out of the... Oh, that's wonderful. Oh, I love it. If you don't like it, you can always throw it. No, I want him, he's wonderful, I love it. It's got such sort of pretty faces. It's just much better. You just look to me, I think it's just so well. I want to look with Anna, I think it definitely was. I think it's so much. Now look, door plate. So here we have a California fig syrup. San Francisco. I might put this one on the Etsy store and then uh, you can have a go at buying it. A little pot of some kind. Oh, it's breaking. Still. Was a cute little pot. Maybe, maybe. I don't know. Oh, there you go. Some information on the bottom. Oh, look. Friendly hotel where England vitrified. G. Gent and Son. So it's breaking. That's strange, isn't it? Looks like it's part of a wooden, a wooden toy or a little toy horse. It's got little pegs at the bottom. Oh look, the old favourite. Pork pie inkwell. Oh look, complete. Lovely. Late Victorian, early 20th. Keeper.
a little tiny bottle. Look who's that. Oh, I'll give that to Cecilia. I think she'll appreciate that. Yeah. Bring it the Someone's left behind. Yeah, that's three more there. There's like a perfect bovril there. Really get great condition. It's a pretty tile, shame it's not complete. Another one, fireplace tile probably. Another chemist, nice one. Now the old favourite, tablespoons, right medicine bottle, oh, it's hard so much to take or leave, maybe I'll leave that for someone else. Nice little blob top one there, it's got on it um, Stansfields Limited, Fulham. So what is that, a ring gem? A ring gem, awesome. it's green glass cabochon but nonetheless that's Fantastic. what a five year old has spotted. That's it, it's easy pickings, anyone can do it yeah. around here. So I'm proposing a competition to find the ugliest item in this dump. I found one. Ah. Oh. <laughs> so this is my finding so far. I think it's really hideous. It's got this sort of reminds you of a funeral urn. Yeah. And it's got that salmon pink so colour. I don't know what it was used for. So when you when you say you found it, does that mean you're gonna keep it as well? No, I'm going to carry it around all day. In the <laughs> end, I'm going to see if anyone out uglies me on the on the pot. Oh, okay, well, that's have a, you found anything that's really a really, ugly yet? That's a really strong point. Not really, but I bet you will because you're so good at finding stuff. I've just seen a little doll's head poking out of the mud. Look at that! Oh, do you know what? I think we should let Cecilia clean it off if she doesn't get too freaked out by it. Look what you found! Oh look. my gosh! There you go, look. Do you want to have a look oh at that? Oh my goodness, let's have a look. Oh, that is beautiful. Clean it off, let me clean it off. <laughs> uh, oh my god, that is so creepy. Oh, can I see a little face of Cecilia? Let me see. What do you think, Cecilia? <laughs> oh my god, that is. Oh. We, we, have, we do keep creepy doll heads though, can don't I have a look we? At this one? Yeah. I just oh, saw the neck of it, I thought that's pretty cool. Oh, she's looking at you. Oh, she's perfect. Look she at is that. Gorgeous. Oh, Look at those little chubby eyes. cheeks. Or oh, have the eyes gone? She's smiling. I don't think the eyes no. are hollow. Oh, look at her. Does she look quite menacing? She just looks as if <clears throat> she's come back. At I night time, she definitely walks around the dump. Whoa. And I don't think any rabbits that come her way don't last very long. <laughs> and look, she's got a hole in the head for oh my. hair. I hope it think? was for hair. It might have been a part of the zombie wars. Yeah, maybe she had like a, yeah, definitely had a, had the hair on top hello, of that as well. Hello, hello, you that's a pretty cool lump of earth. You can see there's like a seam going through it there, look. Pretty dangerous though, because there's a tree hanging at the top, so I don't think I'll be investigating that. Nice big slab of tile there though. I'm intrigued to see what's on that. He says he's not going to look and he's going to go and look. Bit of marble. A little glass ink well, fairly common over here, but still nice to take. Little, a little boat one. Oh, lovely. Is it complete? Well, it looks all right. Oh, yeah, that's, that'll do. Well nice little Victorian oh, very boat nice. ink. Yeah, that's lovely. So here's Monica, and <laughs> she's found part of, well, a bit of an exposed poison bottle, we hope. It's a tiny, tiny little corner. Oh yeah. So I'm not sure if there's actually anything there, but it's probably just gonna be a broken end. But so um, let's have a look-see. I'm gonna find something to get it out with. Ooh. It is, yeah, oh no, yeah. it definitely is. Oh, it's in a clump. Oh God, this is gonna be scary. Feel that, it's <laughs> solid. <laughs> anything you can do, like, you know, like, oh look, uh, there you go, I'll pull a little bit away. Oh, well done. Just using your... Fingers. It's, it's absolutely. It's all right. I can just uh, get around the bottle itself. Bit there, bit there. Getting there. Oh <laughs> no! 
<laughs> Never mind. Oh, well, at least it wasn't me. <laughs> oh, that, is, that lit. Oh, look. Uh, Maybe if I'd have been a bit more gentle with it, it would have come out. You but. know what? It's probably damaged anyway because I reckon that's been heat compacted, hasn't it? Yeah, never that's mind. It's been in a big fire. Never mind. We'll find another never one. Mind. There'll be another one. Well, Mike's come banding over the hill with what, what looks like got? a pretty cool find. They quitted some. Oh, oh, wow. Little cheeky. <laughs> Big Whittington pipe. That is awesome, mate. Okay. That's all right, isn't it? That's, that's more than all right. <laughs> oh, just, he's got the moniker handshake of approval. Yeah, yeah, that is. I'm, I'm good at breaking things, so I'm not going to. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to clean that too. Especially, uh, but that is a stunner. I can't wait to see it cleaned up. Look, he got one out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just looking at poison. Oh, no. Yeah, exactly. That is the find of the day. That is too much. That is, oh, that is amazing. Because have a look. Oh, that well done you. Is that probably the only thing you picked up? You've been very Yeah, he'll come home with one poison bottle and Dick Whittington. Oh, that's so <laughs> annoying. And I'll come home with a load of crap. That is absolutely superb. Basically means your girlfriend will still talk to us, whereas my husband won't when I come home with my bag of crap. That so. is really great. Well done. Cheers. That's a find and a half. So is he actually sitting down, isn't he, on that side yeah. there, or someone? Is that Dick Whitten sitting sitting he down? Leaning little... up against his um, water. Uh, figure really figure all. Figure all. Is that the right word? Figure all. Yeah. Figure all. So. Yeah. So. Well done, Mike. A few bits and it says on there, uh, Lord Mayor of Dick Whitten, Dick Whittington made Lord Mayor of London, and then the date. Eighteen. Again, I think it says or something like that. Oh, I might be wrong there. Yeah, I'll have to double check that date, but um, yeah, it'll be cleaned up. Look, pucker. Yeah. So that like that date says what? Born. It looks like born eighteen sixty nine, possibly or thirty nine. Isn't Dick Wick Wick Whittington a fictional character? No, no, he's real. Did he? Is he real? If you oh, go well. up to Highgate Hill, you know near the Whittington Hospital, they've yeah. got that stone there, and there's a cat on the top of it. Isn't that like? Puss in Boots story, right? But it's not, it's real. Oh, so it's like, so he's actually talking to a cat. No wonder I'm thinking it's all make believe because he talks to a cat about Puss in Boots and stuff. Is that yeah. like all the same thing? Am I missing it? Am I missing out completely? Puss in Boots is a younger son of a miller who has three children and he's left the cat, isn't he? He's left the cat and his elder brother has left the windmill and his middle brother has left the donkey. And Puss in Boots' younger son has left the cat. So, and the cat turns out to be brilliant. He ends up winning him a castle and a kingdom. Right. So, and a bride. So, is so. It, they do a pantomime with Dick Wheaton, don't yeah, they? Yeah, okay. Yeah. But that's not Puss in Boots. That's not, I, that's I, I, really should, I really should swap up on my, on my, pad, on my <laughs> pantomimes. So, what's, Dick Wheaton had to travel so to London for something. Dick Whittington was a poor kid, came to London, got a job yes. working for a trader, shipping merchant, and went out with a shipping merchant on his ship a few times, found a cat, put the cat on board the ship, All they right. ended up in Thailand, the King of Siam was overrun with cats, Dick Whittington's cat was brought onto land, chased away all the rats, and he was given a load of money by the King of Siam and loads of accolades. Right, okay. And then he came back on the shipping, on the boat, back to London, and I think the rich merchant let him marry his daughter, I'm not sure about that bit, and he ended up becoming Lord Mayor of London three times. So that's where I'm getting my wires crossed, because he had a cat, and I'm thinking pantomime and then Puss in Boots. All I'm missing is the Pied Piper thing, I think, bit now. Well, there's enough rats in London. I'm sure we'll get Pied Piper in there somewhere. So, Mike's found Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Mike's having a fantastic day, and it's actually improved my day because I think he's going to give me this. You can have it, mate. Don't you care? Cool. To cut down, and it. Let's get that in the light. Look, that is one of the best cod bottles. And see, the bottle diggers don't want these because they think they're useless because it's got no top. But that is absolutely beautiful. It says on it, Fen of Farnham. Got a lovely bit of iridescence to it. Something on the back, probably the maker's mark. But look. Oh wow, just got another one. another one. Superb, I'm so lucky. I can go home now. I've got what I need. What does that, that, that one say? Is that it the same, there? I think? Is it? Yes, yeah, the same one. Oh, is that the same one? Lovely pearlescence. That's going to be gorgeous. So Mike's <laughs> got a contender uh, for the ugliest thing, although she's quite a pretty girl, but kitsch nonetheless. So we'll see what Anna thinks about that. Oh, I've got a little face. Oh, isn't he charming? Oh, you know it's even muddier. Well, that's my contender for the much kish, kitsch object. Although I think Anna falls in love with these too easily. There we go. Well, this is my 
grotesque object. I don't even know what it is. Is it a candle holder or a plate stand? Maybe a cooling plate rack? I don't know. You know, see what Anna says about that. What, sir? Same one as size. You've got an Indian in in skilling one? one. Oh. Nice one. Oh, man. I'm not unique anymore. <laughs> How are you finding pipes? I just saw this. That was in the truck. So that didn't get crushed. Oh, oh well, we'll clean that like, up. You're like jewels. You just pick up the very choice things. Yours has got a nice little uh, tree thing on it. I don't know if, I'm not sure if mine's got the same as that, but tree. that's a, yeah, it's a little tree thing going on there as well from the oh, sides. Yeah. Lovely fire, mate. There you go, mate. Right, Monica's going to give us a little uh, lesson on these Apollinaris bottles, or is it a gin bottle? You um, well, they're Dutch, they're, and this symbol here stands for the Dutch Excise um, Company, as I was told. Um, and it, it looks like a number four. Yeah. Yeah? But it's actually a really beautiful little symbol and much more subtle. The top half of it is the sail of a boat. Okay. And the bottom half of it oh, is yeah. an anchor. That's oh just, yeah, you can see it now when you look yeah. at it like that. You see the little points on the end so of the anchor. A, that was a, bit, a seal to, to say that this is a genuine, yeah. the genuine yeah. article. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Excellent beautiful. bit of knowledge there. Yeah. Thank you very much for sharing that. And I think so that's cool. the, the number on the back, I think, is the name of the potter oh, right, who made okay. it. So Frank. Um, somebody, will be, yeah, somebody mm. will correct me, I'm sure, if I'm wrong. But I think that's, yeah, Frank number 15. There you <laughs> go. Nice work. So Anna's got two beaming full bags of uh, bottles already. I, I swore I wouldn't pick anything up. I'm rather embarrassed. You swore you wouldn't pick anything up? <laughs> Who to? Myself. Anyway, I found something that might, uh, that might oh, be a... Oh no, not for the competition. Yeah, is that, um, is that garish enough? Or is that rather, is that too beautiful? I mean, it's, you could argue it was stylish. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think? Come on, Monica, you haven't seen either. Which is the worst? Ooh. Oh. I, I think... Yeah, I, I, I hate to say, Anna, I think you win on that one. I win the worst five. Great. <laughs> <laughs> well, where's that teapot? Oh, oh the teapot. Great. Well, the teapot actually turns out to be <laughs> one of Flo's... Um, she really wants it. Look, look, this is another one we found. Oh, oh that's amazing. That. No, that's I can imagine cool. that's right up Flo's yeah. street, that one. She's yeah. got flowers in it. Oh, you put, like, um, chives or something in shit like that. Oh, that was easy. Oh, Tripping over bottles like here again. Look at that. That's a nice, um, yeah. well, I'm post office sorry. sign. Letters containing this coin, one. paper money, or jewellery should not be posted in this box, but should be registered. Ooh, yeah, ain't that the truth? My favourite kind of bottle, melted. It's got Would that be like Lovely. You, how do you find them? I never find those ones. <laughs> Look at that, they're wonky. They must have gone into a fire or something. Aren't they lovely? I love them. Awesome. Slightly incinerated, but that's pretty good. <laughs> so here is a newspaper. Trying to get a date off it, it's quite tricky. Daily Express, Wednesday. You've got a date on it. Just having a look. Daily Express but there's an advert there for Heinz Beans. Let's see if we can uh Wednesday. Wednesday the Yeah. Oh. Yeah, Wednesday. Wednesday. The Daily Express that says. Let's see if we can get another page. A random page. There we go. 1928. 1928? Sure it just sit there. Just kind of it up again. The other oh, one. I've rubbed it off. Uh, yeah. The other one we found was a uh, 1925. Yeah, it's weird we're digging up my nan's rubbish from when she was two years old. <laughs> yeah. <Probably an> egg. <laughs> there you go, look, that's a bit more revealing. Oh. 1928, you're right. October the 3rd. Well, 90, 90 year old newspaper. Look at that. Divers search for missing weapon. Ooh. Swansea. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Let's see if I can get that bit out. It's a shame we can't read. Can you preserve it? It's yeah, hard, you can it? dry it out, it'd be all right. There you go, look, look at that. Typical 1928 right. illustration. Safe in these bubbling, sparking suds. I think I might take that home and... Um, yeah, yeah, take this home. This is it's pretty good. I'll use it to decoupage, decoupage some pots. Check it out. I will... Uh, yeah, it's good. Yeah, let it dry out here for a little while yeah. and come back and get them. Let's leave a pile here then. Okay. <laughs> Let's create the parlour. Not going to miss that away. No, exactly. So I've been having a little rake around here, and I found a little find just under here. Can I have a look? There's that wine ball there. Look, see if I can wiggle it out. It's quite a nice, unusual shape. I think. Come on, out you come. There we go. Look at that. That's got a really long neck. 
would have been a wine bottle, would have had a wick around here, like a Rioja or something like that perhaps. Nice one. And for those of you that wondered what that thing is, it's actually an insulator, some electrical insulator. But it's buried really deeply, I can't move that without a lot of aggro, so um, yeah, nothing, uh, nothing amazing. But there's all sorts of stuff hidden, hidden in here. The link well. So, what has uh, what has young Cecilia found? Oh, she's been very camera shy. Well, she has found a penny lick, which I think contained was a penny lick a sherbet. It's an ice cream or sherbet? An ice yeah. cream thing, and so it's very shallow and heavy. And Isn't it was that a lovely? Con, an optical illusion. So you thought you were getting more than you actually were. Very, very cool. I've wanted to find one of these for a while, but of course my daughter found it first. <laughs> and you didn't even get a spoon. You just licked it out the glass. Amazing. So, oh, there we go. Well, yeah. And then you got cholera. But I also have to show you something else that she found. I mean, I, Cecilia's finding everything today. Look at this gorgeous bit of Victorian stoneware with the little oh, fisher wow. scene. And there's even, I think, an anchor oh, in yeah. it. There we go. But I love this um, coloured transferware on... Is it, it is stoneware, isn't it? It is stoneware, yeah. Yeah. It would have been mm -hmm. some kind of ginger beer? No. Does anybody know. know what that would be? It sort of reminds me of a uh, Prattware. Yeah. Right. It does, but, isn't it? The colour on it. Yeah, yeah, but I don't know if it is that or not. But. And um, what else have we got that's cool to see? Yes, I picked up something for Nicola Ooh. for Tideline Art. I feel for her studio. <laughs> it says afternoon something. Delight, probably. <laughs> <laughs> and it is the afternoon. There we go, yeah, that's a lovely, lovely gift. Nice, nice bit, bit of drift. Yeah. I just feel it will go with all her driftwood. Yeah, superb. Oh, Cecilia's got a wand. Do you want me to hold it now? <laughs> Abracadabra. Wait, you're not allowed to magic hand. Oh, it's only your magic. <laughs> okay. Cecilia has do you want a little, um, <gasps> Cecilia, do you want a little a baby little bob? Have you got one that small yet? There you go, then. Thank you. <laughs> nice. My first bit of gold on the tip. <laughs> Oh, there's a bit of gold in yeah. there as well. Yeah. I think wow. they've got ones, Was it brass? Is it gold? No, I think it's got. You wouldn't put brass in your mouth. It would taste horrible. Oh, yeah. It's got to be gold. Yeah. Cool. And I found a poison that's not broken. Good <laughs> so news. That's good. Makes up and, with that uh, last one. And I've got some. I think it's clay pipe material. Yeah, I reckon you're right. So, is it a little, a little pink cushion? I might be a pink cushion. Like that pewter pin cushion shoe. Yeah, because if you only had, one. if you only had like version. half a dozen, you have to see if it sits properly, Flat, yeah. and then restore it as beautifully as Flo, Flo did. That's a challenge. <laughs> awesome. And I found an elephant that it's all broken into little pieces, but all the pieces were there. And that's his. Oh, that's his front. So. That's nice. But he's got all his legs, so I might, I might have a bash with the heraldite. This is funny. Quite, quite fun. Do you know what? I did see that earlier. Did you? I did sort of oh, I wonder whose footprints they were. <laughs> I was trying to work out what I could do with it, if I could restore it or not. And I thought, it's, it's too much like hard work. <laughs> I just like horses. So, oh, is it a horse? Yeah. I didn't know what it was. Hey, so I don't, mind, I don't mind leaving it just as is, because I just yeah. think the shape is beautiful. It's very well so, carved, isn't it? Might use it as a books, book end or something. Awesome. Imagine there's no room on the bookshelves for books at the moment, because <laughs> it's so full of bottles and Brilliant. everything else. Brilliant. It's got a little hole for the tail, I'm just noting. It has. And I've got lots of horse hair at home, so I could actually put some horse hair in. Put it in it. Yeah. <laughs> that would be perfect. It's got a found little brass copper. That might be a mineral lamp base or something. Yeah, I'm probably. Sure copper. Oh, you have lots of fun it. restoring and cleaning all that, all that stuff, oh, don't you? Oh, and this. I absolutely love it. Draw pull. Oh, but yeah. that will clean up really beautifully. That will. And it's actually yeah. really solid still. Yeah, soak that in... Um, WD-40 or something yeah. and get moving. Yeah, get that off. And what, a, what a complete array of stuff. It's not oh. just bottles, is it, a bottle dump? It's, uh... You know, I was telling you about the, the light switch I had when I was a kid. Yeah. That's it. No way. It's missing it? the... Um... What are the chances of finding that? I know. <laughs> I think after you finding one. that one, I was like, right, I'm going to fight. And I did. Fantastic. And the last one... This one. Oh, that's nice. It's so pretty. Yeah. It's Sutton's. Which is Lovely, really nice yeah. design on it. That is nice. Okay. Sweet. I don't know what that would have been. Cleaning fluid or drink? What do you reckon? It feels, it does feel, yeah, it's either a Sutton's. 
the disinfectants were normally dotty and brownie, weren't they? So uh, I'm thinking maybe. I don't know. I would have said it's something between a pub flask, yeah. um, spirit bottle, because it's spirit, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I heard it. Was, I'm sure you'd be able to look it up. Yeah, exactly. Nice bottle, though. It's quite fun. I like yeah, the pattern on it. It's a keeper. And the best of all. Ooh. Best of all. Best of all. Uh, this is one I might pretty, pretty please cherry on the top. So you could probably cut it there and leave yourself a little bit of, say, so that's yeah. showing. Yeah, I'll do it for you. Would you? It's just right. so pretty. Yeah, no problem. Well done. Good stuff. So here's my collection. You've seen most of it come up, but I'll just run through it quickly. This one you saw uh, come up, nice shape with um, Ryoko or something like that. Newspaper, I'm going to take home and I'm going to apply it to these plain marmalade pots and you can just see that I don't know what that was from but it's a flipping gravestone mad I'm going to clean that up and make that into a light so that'll be the switch I've got to just work out the rest of the light now <laughs> a little uh, pork pie and um, yeah a couple of uh, other nice bottles there and not forgetting my little pipe in the skinning pipe probably and Mike found the same one which is pretty amazing and this little one says Cantrell Cochrane not sure what that would have been and this one I'm going to cut down and put on the Etsy store so if any coffee lovers out there lovely green bottle there that can be reused so let's see what everyone else has found Mike <laughs> right. well, he hasn't uh, got out, has I'm he? Out the bay. Mike's uh, round up here. Lovely bottles. Let's look at the smalls because the bottles are cool, but the smalls are even cooler. That is the star of the show. I'll show you a picture of that cleaned up. Look really cool. That's little domino. I know that one's stuck. In the skin pipe. Lovely poison bottles there. Look. What's your favourite fire, Mike? Um. Oh, I don't know. Uh, I quite like the distorted poison bottle. Yeah, like slightly melted. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Excellent. Cool. Well done, Mike. I've got to go because the battery's almost dying. So, well done, mate. Top day. Coming again? Yep, definitely. Sweet. <laughs> well, I've just switched over to another camera because the other one ran out. So, it might look slightly different on this one. However, these are a few bottles, minus that one, that I had from uh, from earlier, which, uh, again, another contenders were cut down at. This one's a monster. The monster one you saw come up. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, it's like I've got monsters repeated oh, on it. Oh, that's brilliant. Oh, I love that. What was that <laughs> thing? Don't know, I might have to research that and find out. Idris bottle, Skittle bottle. This is another cut down contender. I think that will clean up really well. Cut glass. Probably wouldn't have been a scent bottle, I imagine, with a little squirter on there. This is a really cool find. This is actually an acid etched puff flask from a hotel. The Crown Hotel in Harleston. So I'll have to see if that's still there. Be interesting to see if it is. This one's a nice one you've seen come up. Another one for cutting down. And another contender for cutting down is a beautiful J Mills and Sons with a lovely coat of arms going on there, a London one. And I think this is my second one of these of the day. And this is the one I saw earlier, but either way, it's very cool. So there we go. And these nutters are still uh, preparing all their finds, we decided which ones they want to take. And here comes Monica. Hi Monica. What are you I saying, Monica? <laughs> I just found this on the way back, it's quite sweet. Like you do? Little yeah. tiny, com almost complete chug, little nip out the lip. I love jugs. <laughs> What? I do. <laughs> Better than Dick. Cecilia, <laughs> <laughs> you've had a good day bottle digging. Yeah, <laughs> yes. 
She's yeah? very camera shy. Could they, could I'll talk I, you through I, it. I, I, I've got to say, the little teacup for me is awesome. Look at that. Oh, there we go. Have you got any dolls you might give this to? A little tea party? Don't know. Don't know. Okay, fair enough. So, I'm loving this tile, but what to do with this big old bit of cement? It'll be ruined if I kind of try and get it out, won't it? You could try maybe soaking it in something. Yeah. Maybe like, I don't know. I just love tin glaze. I love it. Do you know, I'm going to stick it in my garden and I'm going to stick this lovely um, teapot that you found in my garden and Monica's suggested putting chives in, which I rather like. Great idea. I love the orientalist theme. The will make us right there. Awesome. Yeah. So, I can't wow, take credit for all of this. Um, Cecilia found the coolest things. She found the poisons. Very good. And uh, she found her very own Jesus. <laughs> Half a Jesus. And this, I think. Oh, oh no! But these are all for, these are yours. She's worried that I've chucked a lot of her stuff out. But actually, I'm just saying this is all your stuff. I think this is that a curtain ring or a bangle? <laughs> I'd, I'd say curtain ring. A curtain ring, damn. Oh, but I oh, know. I was saying that there's no. You don't have to have a little hook for a curtain ring. Let's say bangle then. Oh no, there's the hole. Is that a hole? I, I think, think yeah. I think you might need a hole for the for the hook to go on. I don't know. Maybe it could be one or the other. Um. Right. We've got some birds. Little bird collection here. Superb. And um, also some dolly heads. Uh, I think that this little cupy, armless cupy, might be having a poopy. <laughs> um, Cecilia found that. Um, a very nice big stopper. I love a big stop for me. And oh, that's the one I found, wasn't it? Yeah, that's the one you found, okay. yeah. Cool. Um, look at that one. A bird's, that bird's lovely. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Didn't you find a bird last time? I think that was Nicola, oh, actually. Right. That's lovely. Yeah. And um, so cute. I love, I collect blue bottles in my bathroom. And you can get a uh, so, flight paper for that. Yeah. Oh, and Cecilia found this shell. She's really into <laughs> her shells. She's retrieving stuff that I've chucked out. I've been a very bad mummy. Oh, no. That's got its stopper in, but I think that's going to be a nightmare to clean, probably. It's probably still got its stuff in. Oh, what have you got there? A, tie, a fragment of tile. <laughs> Speaking of tiles, actually, this is a very nice tile under here. Kind of mold, quite plain, but a nice molded design. Are you sure that's the top? Well, when I turn it out, well, maybe you're right. No, because look at that. That's, that's the top. That's not the top. It is. That's the top. No. You that's, think that's the top? I think it's the top you'd have put down in a, <laughs> on like a driveway or something. Oh, or, or no. A... I don't want it anymore. Well, look, I, I, just <laughs> having done some time in the past, <gasps> for me, it feels like it's the bottom. I think... I, I thought be, that yeah, was no, the bottom. It's... I'm going for that's the top. Uh, but if anyone on YouTube disagrees with me, then please. I'm sure Sai is right. No, I'm not always. I'm but I just that. prefer it's the actually, pattern of the bottom. Well, look, oh, look, it's even got cement on. There we go, dashed my hopes and dreams. Okay, this is a mystery item. What is that? Well, it's like a little pepper pot. But how does one get into it? I don't know, it unscrews. Does it? It's, that's, that is not part of it. Uh, let me see if I can just. Oh my god, it does unscrew! Shall I unscrew it for you? Yeah. Ah! <laughs> oh, it won't me, it won't me. It's um... There you go, a little it's pepper like pot. A, it's tiny. Isn't that cute? It's awesome. I quite like that. Um, yeah, so, we have actually <laughs> chucked a lot of our stuff That's out. a great, great collection. Well, you yeah. know, you've got to be picky. Oh, is that a cut down? That's a cut down, please. <laughs> Oh, well, you, that's you beautiful. Can rescue it again. Oh, the monster. I've got a feeling that's painted on, as in that's uh, it's a transfer. Yeah, I'm just trying to think, it'll still cut down fine. I just uh, just seen like some of it's uh, come away. Know, a little bit. Maybe we won't bother with that. Okay, it's up to you. I don't mind doing it. This nice, this nice monsters. That is monsters, a, monsters. I've got the same as that, but mine's broken, so uh, you, you've done well to find a complete one. But that's fine because I'm a lot of broken ones anyway because I cut them down and you give them a second have life. It, si. No, no, I don't. It. No, it's fine. I've got the, I've got the, I've got the broken one, so that's fine. Yeah. Plus, I've got too many bottles to carry back anyway, so my arm's going to fall off. But no, no thanks for the offer. No, no. <laughs> anyway, thanks for showing oh. me a great collection of stuff. 
really I impressed. Love the field zinc. It's a nice, uh, yeah, nice little yeah. link there. Excellent work. Well, there we go. Thank you. Good oh, day actually, the oh my god, oh. actually, there's one last thing. Cecilia found some actual stained glass. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, that. See if I can uh, hold it up. Look to the light. Yeah. Oh, it's in there. Look, 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 it's in there. Very Art Deco. Nice one, mm. well done. Yeah. Excellent, right, who's next on the... Oh look, Anna's looking uh, bit, proud of herself. I'm flagging a little bit. Are you? Okay, here we go. So, you're going to help me cull some of these. I really like that ink, look at that. That is nice. Isn't that beautiful? Look at the way Yeah, you've got to keep light. that. Yeah, I've definitely kept keeping that. And I like this little one, which says it's fur preserver. Huh. Ah. What did you say? Oh, inside, yeah, I thought, yep. hmm. Unusual. And... Fur preserver. <laughs> wow, that's a bit, uh, a scene of fire, isn't it? It has seen a fire. I love anything that's in a fire, which, speaking of which, I like this one, because look, it's obviously been melted when someone's tried to incinerate it. And the same with this one. I've got this collection now of... Wonky distorted bottles. Distorted bottles. I feel rather fond of them. And this one here. <laughs> But that's perfect. That's my favourite kind of bottle and wonky. What did you ask for? <laughs> awesome. And I like a whole doll's head. Look at that lovely doll's head. Oh, almost dropped it. With the writing Super. on the back. She's German. Nice. And I think that this this bottle's rather lovely. This one here. Oh, that is yeah, that's sweet. That's really nice. I like that. We think it's probably a perfume bottle. Oh, and it's got, got yeah, a little orb. Is that a the little word? Orb, that's the word. Yes. Or scepter orb. Thing it, a bit. Oh, it does actually come off. <laughs> See? I like that. That's lovely. Um, Red, like, reds find them with a, with a lid on. Oh, now I like that sign which I've already showed you. Yeah. And this is a corner, so maybe a hat pin. Oh, something. yeah. That's a cool. Oh, that's, that's lovely, isn't it? Look, look, and it just so happens it's sun's out now, so we can see these things in there. And then there's that Glory. which I showed you earlier, and this lovely leg which I'm going to put in my garden upside down. So there we go. And you've got your bird feeder. Bird feeder. That was from a Mike. big one, isn't it? Yep. And um, then a, a, an array. Yeah, the hideous thing's not coming home. Does that win? I think that's the winner, isn't it? No winner, one's beaten that. No. They're the most grotesque look that, thing. Look at that flamboyant neck. It's a flamboyant neck. Yeah, I imagine it's um, a flower holder. I don't know. I don't know. But I'll, I'll find out what it, what, what, why the neck is like that. If, if anybody knows, comment below. Oh, please do. I'll be very oh, grateful. What's that? Oh, yeah. So it's an egg cup. Doggy <laughs> egg cup. This is a, a giant tulip. Um, oh, that's pretty. So, yes. This was... Mm -hmm. We were doing magic with Cecilia, and she cast a spell, and then normally you'd find something afterwards, and she found me this little bottle, which I'm really pleased about. No way. Yeah, she's obviously, she's got some kind of a magic wand, which really helped. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah I saw that earlier. It was really good, it was really effective. She's got to bring it next time. And yeah, that's our Brilliant. array of, what, yes. But I think, I'm not sure why I've got so many bottles. Because it's a bottle dump? I know, but why no, yeah. Well, I don't know, <laughs> do I need to carry them all home? What do you think? I've got yeah, quite a lot of baking bottles. Well, you've come home. all this way, you might as well, uh, yeah, they, we they don't know how long this dump's going to last, because it could all be overgrown and horribly inaccessible it's next true. time. So. You know, be Season selective, but, but at the end of the day, I yeah. think that this might only be a limited place to come. Oh my goodness. Might be sold and developed on oh for all we know. Okay, okay, then I love my collection. Thank you very much. I'm not feeling very well, so I'm a little oh. bit muted. Do excuse me. <laughs> You're excused. Sorry, we, um, Cecilia, her feelings were hurt because I threw away a lot of her stuff. So Did we you? just retrieved it again. And can we just show you yeah. her other stuff that she found? Because, um, look, this is very sweet. Oh, little Lit boy blue. Little boy blue. Isn't that sweet? That is cute. And obviously you saw this scene earlier. Yeah. And then she also Ooh. found a little castle. Which is nice. And another scene, a bridge. That's Japanese, I think. We like this urn. Not quite sure. That's pretty cool. That's it's nice. alright. And then a, Devon, a Devonshire souvenir. Look, Devon lavender. Awesome. And Lovely oh, this is the this is the, this is the magic wand. 
Yeah, oh, magic. Yeah. It works. You're going to cast a spell. It really works. You should get a, a demonstration. Can you demonstrate how it works? Because it was absolutely amazing. I mean, I really. <laughs> Honestly, you'll find so much now, probably in that spot. It's <laughs> like it, a magic child. Or it'll all disappear. Yeah. And the best is that. Oh, yeah. The penny lick. You can't forget the penny lick. That is my absolute favourite. That and Dick Whittington's pipe. This yeah. My two favourite for the day. Wow, look at this haul from Monica. This is known as Monica not quite learning how to leave stuff behind. <laughs> a hoarder's paradise. <laughs> exactly. Um, so we've got, uh, um, what's that? That's a water bottle, isn't it? Yeah, for one of, it's a tonic, I think. Was tonic it, uh, wa waterworks. Horton. I've had one of these before. Nice. So, um, this one is scrubs. Yeah. So I reckon that must have been disinfectant at some point. It's got the ridges. Yeah. So I think that's disinfectant. Just like the. Um, oh, yeah, nice here it isn't on that. Yeah, That'll clean nicely. Quite, oh, that's I like that. Old Brook one. A couple of shears and a blue one. False teeth. You with found gold. gold. You found <laughs> gold. gold. <laughs> They've got real gold on them. Awesome. Melt uh, that down. <laughs> um, boots the chemist. Vinos for cough and colds. Um, milk and magnesia and lung tonic which I probably don't need because I have, but I could give away, so that's the theory. Yeah. This one's going to be pretty when it washes up. Yeah, that's nice. It's quite a nice little one. Um, and then a bit of Japanese-y stuff. That one, I wonder, maybe you could cut that one down for me. Yeah, for sure. Mind. That would be lovely. Um, and my dove, which is quite <laughs> sweet. So I think you can get into your farm that we're... Oh, yeah, <laughs> having a mad old farm. A couple of faces, a little, little, little duck. 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 Another Japanese. Oh, yeah, the, the little pipe shoe. That's cool. Quite sweet. That's probably my favourite find of yours, or one of them. Yeah. Just because it's unusual. It's isn't weird, it? isn't it? Yeah, because it's made of that clay pipe clay. Yeah. Um, that's odd. Very decorative. Very nice. And there's a little elephant that's. Last time I came, I found a whole elephant. This one, bless me, is in pieces. Mm -hmm. But I got all the pieces, so I'm going to glue them together. Oh, nice one. Um, this one, I think, is absolutely beautiful. It's just that's lovely. Yeah, feels that's like right. Lalique, but I don't know if it is, but it's. So pretty. Another cut down. Yeah, job. A definite cut down. The horsey. Horse the, torso. You found as well. <laughs> horse torso. Horse torso. Horse torso. Um, various different, a couple of poisons. Yeah. Um, the bottle that seems to be a bit of a communal find there, but I'm having. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Um, one of these blob tops again. Yeah. And I don't know if that's an early Quantro, but Looks it's Quantro like it, shaped it? and coloured. Yeah. But it hasn't got the. Um, little seal. seal on it Gordon's gin and tonic it's, it's a nice one and I haven't got Gordon's <laughs> at home um, a couple of stonewares a round one nice one isn't it yeah chunky one it's got, it's got a, would have had a, a seal, seal or something there, yeah, yeah. Seal or something um, yeah. and then the old uh, oh it's got a little chip, chip out of it, on it yeah. at least it won't roll around now if you just yes, play it like exactly. that that's where I look at it and this one's lovely it's got um, it's, it's a blown one and there's no seam on it. I assumed it was much more modern, but if you look at the top, I think it's actually quite an old one. Hmm. I don't know. What do you reckon? Um, it's got the seam. Do you say it's got seam? There's, no, there's no seam on it much? at all. Yeah, it probably is. It's just very well made. Hmm. I couldn't see one. There's a slight ridge there in the middle. Maybe it was made in two halves, this half together. and then the bottom half and then put together, perhaps. But um, yeah, any any bottle experts out there would like to clarify what how this was made? That would be appreciated. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, I really like that. Nice colour as well. Yeah. And then just not whites on the end. Literally yeah. white, isn't it? Someone's yeah. also used that to mix some paint or something yeah. up in there or some weird... Probably salts of mercury and a not yeah. ideal for to take home. Is, um, is this yours as well? No. no. <laughs> well, not yet. I don't know. It depends if it's any good. <laughs> yeah, never know, do you know? No, I'm not having that. That can stay. <laughs> uh, I think I've got enough to take home. <laughs> is that? One that naked what? It's very an unusual story. Daily Express special correspondent. Golf battle of 200 artisans. One legged cobbler plays gallantly. <laughs> How great. From 1928, probably, if it was the same bit of paper that we had. The prince is shopping. The prince goes shopping. 
tools down. Oh yeah, fantastic. Well, thanks for watching, mud lovers, and see you in the next adventure.